Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to write Hive OS to an SSD from a Windows 10 computer. To do this you're going to need a uh, SSD drive with a, a SATA interface. I got this one for $50 from PP Tech in New Zealand on a Black Friday special. And you're going to need a USB to SATA adapter. Uh, this one's a little bit fancy in that it can do take two drives and do drive cloning, but you don't need one this fancy. As long as it's got a uh, interface that goes from uh, SATA to USB. All right, let's get it plugged into the computer and start the imaging process. Start by putting your USB into your USB to SATA adapter. Note that the plug can only go one way around, so don't uh, don't force it on. And then you might have an external power supply. This one just simply has an off on switch. So now I power it up. All right, now let's go across to the computer. The next thing we want to do is to make sure our new US, our new SATA drive is showing up correctly. So we'll check that in computer management. So if you use Windows R on the keyboard and type in COMP, short for computer, and then MGMT, short for management, dot MSC, that'll pop up computer management. And we want to go to disk management and we want to look for our disk. So I've actually done this once before, but your disk will probably look blank. And we want to make sure it's in the online state. So you can just go right click offline. So if your disk initially shows up like this, you'll need to go right click online and otherwise you won't be able to write uh, an image to it. Next, we need to go to the, to the HiveOS website, which is hiveos.farm. Click on the install tab. Scroll down to the bit to bit for GPUs. So you want to download the GPU for, sorry, the zip version of the GPU version of Hive OS and then carry on down. We need to also get uh, Etcher. So click on this, download Etcher, and then install it. Once you've got Polina Etcher uh, installed, start it running and choose the flash from file option. Choose the HiveOS zip file you downloaded previously. Select the target. Now everything on this disk is going to be wiped, so make sure you don't make any mistakes. Um, if it says it's locked, then that means the driver is online from the previous um, um, shot. So we're going to choose, we're going to write to that drive. We're going to click on flash. And then we're going to say, yes, I'm sure, because this is going to wipe the disk. And now we acknowledge the prompt. And now we wait till the flashing has finished. Okay, the flashing's just finishing off now. And now it's going to check it's correctly done. We'll come back when that's finished. It's now finished uh, writing and verifying the image. So we know it's all been written um, fine to the SSD. Right, I'm now going to power down and then power back up again my USB adapter so that Windows will reread the disk and the partition table. Now I'm just going to go back into computer management. Um, I found when I've done this in the past, it doesn't always uh, assign a drive letter. So I'm just going to run comp, short for computer, mgmt, short for management, dot msc. I'm going to go into disk management, so I can see I've got my uh, Hive disk written here. So this first uh, partition here, that's an NTFS one that Windows can read. So if you right click that, you can go and change drive letter, and I'll add a drive letter. So it's going to get drive letter D. And now I'm going to uh, browse the, to that disk D. And uh, I can now see everything on it. So this is where your rig.config file goes, or you can make a copy of, of this example file and then edit it. Okay, you're now ready to go and start using your new disk on your um, crypto rig. Thanks for watching. Bye.